Welcome to another episode of Health and Wellness. I'm your host, Roseanne Green, and this is the part two of in the series with um, Patrick Delves, the master herbalist. As he shared, as you remember, he shared so many different things um, about how to help us live a better lifestyle and how to live healthy and longer. And we spoke about in terms of sickle cell anemia and just how to eat, um, eat better. And right now, on the show, we have Patrick Dells, <laughs> and he's going to just Bless touch it. on more <clears throat> issues. Yeah. But before we do that, we're going to talk about your company, Natural Mystic. Natural Mystic. Yeah, we're going to Natural Mystic, you know, 1998. Um, me and my Crotel holder, she's also trained in Chinese medicine, does acupuncture. We created a, a company called Natural Mystic. And the natural just came from this being just natural in nature, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And if you look at Genesis 1, 20, 29, God said to us that we should be, we should have vegetation for all meat, so he take us back to nature. Right. So that's why I use the word natural. Mm -hmm. So let's touch on some of the topics <laughs> that I'm sure a lot of persons are very curious about, the stroke. Ooh. I know 30 years ago you, you I had, had a one. mild stroke. Yeah. And <clears throat> you, um, so you're speaking from experience. You sure. So tell me about stroke and, and how can we, we even prevent persons from having When my mother died from one last year, she had two of them, matter of fact. And when she had the first one, I was there, so there was a technique we use when you're getting a stroke, you could prick your ears, mm -hmm. it disappears. I'll show you what, it, what you prick wow. your ears now, right? And the second time I was not there, so she got a stroke and she, she became very mute, she couldn't speak and stuff, mm -hmm. couldn't walk, mm -hmm. and then she died after a couple of months. Mm -hmm. And we have a lot of young people now yes. Yes. that is yes. coming along with strokes, yes. man. 22-year-old, 35-year-old, 25-year-old. Right. Right. One of the main causes of stroke is hypertension. Mm -hmm high blood pressure. Mm -hmm. If the pressure, they remember that there's a number called a, a systolic number, right. that's when the heart is contracting, mm -hmm. and the systolic number when the, when the heart is resting. Wow. If the systolic number is high, a lot of doctors don't look at a systolic number now. Right. If it's like over 180 or 200, mm -hmm. that means the heart is pumping the blood through the vessel walls right. too fast. So the blood rushes to the brain, mm -hmm. to the carotid artery in your neck, right. go to the brain, and it could cause a vessel in mm -hmm. the brain to bulge. Right. We call it an aneurysm. Right. You get a stroke from that. Mm -hmm. You could have a lot of plaque also mm -hmm. in the brain, the hemorrhage. You right. get a stroke from that too. Right. Also, if you have what we call pulmonary embolism, mm -hmm. or you have thrombosis, right. they also that also could give you a stroke. Mm -hmm. If the, if there's a blood, if there's clots coming into the, uh, uh, your clotting is good. Right. But if you have the, we call the platelet did with clotting, the clotting factors. Right. If there is too much clotting now, and the the blood can't it gets to the carotid artery and it can't move, the blood can't move to the brain, right. lack of oxygen to the brain give you a stroke. Right. So you don't have to have high blood pressure per se right. to get a stroke. Mm -hmm. It could come from different things. Right. It could come from bad circulation, it could come from coronary artery disease, it could come from uh, um, um, problems in the congestive heart failure, right. it could also come from um, high blood pressure and also diabetes. Mm -hmm. You wow. know, but it's affecting wow. a lot of our young people right. today. Right. You and know, how I had one. Well, I believe in doing the, the, the hyperbaric chamber therapy, mm -hmm. where they put you in a hyperbaric chamber, and they, it sends oxygen back to the spinal column, and then it, it, it increases what we call the cerebrospinal fluid right. that goes back to the brain and increases back the cells. Right. That works well. Okay. Um, but I have, we have a couple of um, stroke, stroke patients that we're treating now that didn't lose the intellectual, meaning that they could speak. Right. When you lose that, it's tough to get it back. Okay. But if you're losing some movements of the hand, because if you have the stroke on the right side, mm -hmm. it affects the left side. If it's on the left side, it affects the right side. So we do a lot of acupuncture treatments, right. and we do a lot of um, uh, physiotherapy. Right. The sea water is very sexy, good for that too. Okay. Going to the sea and then doing right. massaging, mm -hmm. and then using f herbs and mm -hmm. supplements to help to push back the, uh, the oxygen uh, circulation to the brain. Right. And that helps a lot of my patients. Mm -hmm. Which to be good, I had one. Right. So I could right. tell you about so, it. <laughs> can't speak. That's what I said to you. You're I want to say rose and I can't say rose. Oh, wow. You know what I'm saying? Wow, yeah. So, you know, it's, it's uh, significant for us to educate our people that right. we have to keep the heart healthy. Exactly. And we have to keep the circulatory system moving well. Mm -hmm. you know, we, we, we can't slow it up. Right. Because if you look at the blood moving, you get dizzy. Right. You get, psh, because right. it moves so quick. Right. If you slow it up, lots of things happen that's bad. Wow. You know, either you get troubles in your heart, you get mm -hmm. impotence, you get some kind of problem right. because the blood is not moving well. So the right. key is to keep the blood moving well to the coronary artery, mm -hmm. and then you will prevent yourself from getting a stroke. Right. And don't get hypertension or diabetes right. or thrombosis or pulmonary embolism. Mm -hmm. I know you have a step-by-step -step, um, process in terms of, because high blood pressure is something mm -hmm. that's have, um, affecting so many different Lots people. Lots of people. And as you said, age, 
younger people. Yeah, young, they get younger to people yeah. having high blood pressure. Yeah. But I, um, you spoke specifically about in terms of numbers. Talk to me about um, the different numbers um, in terms of what's the perfect number. Uh, well, let's say the perfect number is 120 over 80. Mm -hmm. Systolic 120, diastolic 80. Right. I say 100 okay. over 70. Okay. That's where you should be. Uh, because the, the numbers are important. A, a lot of the times, you know, we, we, we don't take heed and we, we say, well, we, we talk about high blood pressure come from genes. That's mm -hmm. not true. Mm -hmm. it, it's, what we call, it's what we call a genetic predisposition wow. of the disease. Mm -hmm. So if your mom have high blood pressure and you will eat the same way your mom been eating, you're going to get it eventually. Right. See what I'm saying? Right. But if you deter right. from what your mom been eating, exactly. <laughs> you don't get it. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Yes. A lot of persons are um, um, suffering from high yeah. blood pressure. Yeah. So I have a machine, mm -hmm. so I check my pressure twice per day. Mm -hmm. And I don't have it. Right. But I check it to, shit to make sure that my pulse is well, my heart is beating properly. I don't have no irregular heartbeat. We call it arrhythmia in the medical system. Right. We don't have that. Mm -hmm. So I check and I don't have it. I check my sugar four times per day. And I don't have diabetes. Oh. But I check to see where I'm at. Mm -hmm. So I know if I, if, I'm a, if I am at a, pic, a particular number, right. I don't do certain things. Right. You know, if, say, if your number is 150 in terms of milligram deciliter in your sugar level, you don't want to eat a whole set of sugars. Right. It's going to go higher. Right. So I try to keep my sugar level between 70 mm -hmm. and 90 in the morning. And okay. if I eat something that's sweet, it's supposed to go up to 140 and come back down, mm -hmm. not 200. Okay. 200 but is too much. How is the best way to check, it, check your, um, your pressure, though? How? Well, the pulse. We have a machine over here. I, use, mm -hmm. I don't believe in the, in, in the digital machines. Okay. They give you wrong reading. Really? And I'm going to make in China even worse. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, wow. So I use I use the 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 the, 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 the old the older kind. And we're gonna we're gonna show we're gonna yeah. show um our viewers yeah, um, what exactly that this, machine is. Yeah, that's the one I use. So, and then you can bring it. Yeah. So this this, one. this this is. Yeah, this is the one I use. This okay. one is this one is the old time one. You know, mm -hmm. this is, <laughs> that's what it is. And so we're looking at. I remember this so much. Uh, there you go, I'm saying. That's what it is. In the hospital, you yeah. don't get this. Now you don't get it again, man. This. You know, but we the old yeah. school, so yes. we keep it this way. Yes. So, um, but what this one will do is check your pulse. Okay. So what I do is we, in, in our medicine, we, mm -hmm. we look at a pulse and we could tell you, we could give it three different beats of the pulse. Where the medical system give you one beat, 60 mm -hmm. beats per minute. Mm -hmm. See, we could say if you have a deep pulse, weak pulse, hard pulse, dumb pulse, right. and then we could tell you what's going on with the heart from the mm -hmm. pulse beat okay. by just touching your, right, right. the pulse right here. And it would be the left hand because it's closer to the heart. To the heart, right? yeah. Okay. You're very smart. Okay. <laughs> I didn't <really> yeah. <laughs> So it's, it's, yeah. you, you get a better reading. A better reading, yes, Correct. yes. You yeah, get a better reading. Yeah, so it's, right. it's good for persons to not just wait until you go to the hospital no, and no. you're suffering from a high blood pressure, no. but you need to do it yourself. Yes, I always tell sure. my patients, when they have diabetes or they have hypertension, I said, do you have a machine? No, get one. Right. Because you'll never, ever know how your pressure or sugar is at right. if you don't get a machine. Yeah. And what are some of the stuff that you give persons to help with the heart? Because I know a lot of persons we eat bad already. Well, if you have, if you have, there is in the medical system they call it mild to moderate hypertension. Mm -hmm. That's 140 over 100, 140 over 90. Mm -hmm. Don't take no drugs for that mm -hmm. because that can be naturally fixed by using supplementation. Interesting. Severe hypertension is 180, 200 over 110. Right. That's severe hypertension. Mm -hmm. Some people we will keep them on their medication for a while right. and then we work with a cardiologist because my, my nephew is one okay. and we work with a cardiologist who will help us in natural medicine to wean the patient of that particular drug over time if right. they have severe hypertension. Right. Magnesium is one of the most important mineral for the heart, mm. for the heart muscle. Right. It, if you have any kind of thing like uh, arrhythmia or irregular heartbeat, right. magnesium you're lacking there. If you have mortal valve prolapse, you're lacking in magnesium. Right. If you have high blood pressure, the top number is high, magnesium. Wow. And CoQ10. Right. And L-tyrene. Right. And L-carnitine. I couldn't even a lot of them. And yeah. heart and berries. <laughs> and <laughs> it's a lot of them. Wow. Wow. Because God put them on the earth for us to use. Right. There is an earth for every single disease that we have. That is true. That is God true. God put it there. Mm -hmm. If we constipate it, cascara sagrada. Heart troubles, heart and berries. Lymphatic system troubles, cleavers. Sinuses, golden seal, or house horse rats, they're there. Eye troubles, lyceum fruit, they're there. Hi, I'm T. Billy Martin from Women Are Talking TV, and right now you're watching Health and Wellness with Roseanne Green. Today we're going to share with you some helpful tips of how to juice well. And on the show with me is Maya Chambers. Of, um, she's also the owner of Maya Goddess Juices, and she is also a nutrition coach. 
Welcome to the show. Hi. Welcome to the show. We had you on before. Yes. And you share with us your story, your backstory behind why you started juicing, and you're also a vegan, mm -hmm. which is awesome. Um, today we're going to just go through some of the helpful tips of how to juice properly and also the different juices that you have. But first, let's talk a little bit about how, um, how important is juicing. Well, juicing for me is important um, because it helps to bring back any nutrients or vitamins, antioxidants, mm -hmm. enzymes, minerals that are not in the foods that I'm eating or with a busy schedule. For me, it's important to also educate that to people daily because New Yorkers tend to be very busy on right. the go and certain things are missing or mm -hmm. lacking in their diet. Mm -hmm. So juicing is an awesome way to, to replenish and right. put those um, essential vitamins back into your, your body. Right. Um, but every juice is not the same, which is right. also very important. Right. Um, the juices I make are raw, organic. Mm -hmm. um, they're also made in a blender, which they still retain the fiber. Okay. Um, some juice spice, uh, places also contain a lot of sugar. Mm. Sometimes the fruit that they're using is actually frozen. Right. Um, and it has a little bit more ingredients that aren't so harmful, but mm -hmm. for sugar, you know, you can also have like a crash midday. Right. So these juices are literally raw food in a bottle. Okay. So it's, it's a meal replacement or it's, you know, it's also adding, excuse okay. me, to your busy day. Right. Do you recommend that we have juices with a meal or what, what is the complement there that we need to have? Um, I think for anything, like, you know, how they say don't drink while you're eating right. so your food can break down mm -hmm. properly. The same goes for juicing, okay. even though it's greens and you're eating a salad and mm -hmm. you think, oh, there's not a huge difference. Right. You do want to give your system a, a break. Okay. You want it to break down the foods. You want it to do it properly. Mm -hmm. And then I would either have the juice before or after. Okay. What's the best time to juice, though? What's the best time? For me, in the morning, mm -hmm. what works best for me, and every everyone's different. Okay. You know, I when I talk to my clients mm -hmm. and even customers for the juicing, right. I try to figure out their schedule right. and when's a good time for them mm -hmm. or when's the time for them to actually relax in their okay. day. Because when you do have a juice, you don't want to have it while you're anxious exactly. or you're busy. You want to actually sit down and be able to enjoy and, and have a, be in a nice state of mind. Mm -hmm. So for me, when I wake up, I like to have warm water with lemon. Oh. Um, then I meditate so I'm grounded and right. I'm a lot more um, present and right. conscious. And then, you know, depending if I have a meeting or if mm -hmm. I have to do phone calls or emails, um, I will have a juice. I can have a smoothie if mm -hmm. I'm on the go because okay. that's more like a breakfast. Okay. Um, the smoothies are also a little thicker. Mm -hmm. um, so I also feel a little more full, like, you know, um, mm -hmm. yeah. That I can, you know, that I've eaten something. Right. Um, Why warm water with lemon, though, um, for the first thing? Why? That actually detoxifies okay. my system. It cleans out my liver. Right. Um, anything that's kind of left for from last night or anything that I ate, mm -hmm. um, it kind of starts the process okay. of drinking the juice and and. It helps me start my day right. as well. So um, we're now going to share with you guys um, some of the stuff that we. Maya is going to do for you, and I'm going to um, be the one to taste them. I'm yes. very honest. I'll, I'll tell you. <laughs> like last time. You yes, if it tastes The green good. juice was, was yeah, a challenge was, for it, Rose, but yes, it was good. Yes, but for me, there was a challenge in terms of green. I, I don't like mm -hmm. greens. And that's I, most I, and people. And I'm being um, honest about it. I don't like greens, mm -hmm. but I'll, I won't have it as a vegetable. I'll just juice it. I'll just juice it. And I like that because mm -hmm. for that, it's easier for me to, 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 to do the juicing yeah. than eating that's, it. That's so. most people, too. Yeah. But I think when they think of greens, they think it's going to taste like grass. And there's a lot of fruits Sometimes that you can does. use. Sure. Yes, wheatgrass, Sometimes barley grass can. Yeah. But if you add certain fruits mm -hmm. that are very flavorful, that are sweet, mm -hmm. um, and that's all that you need is one fruit, okay. it, it can help okay. with the taste. So what... what What's the first? Okay, so today? this is a really great basic one. Mm -hmm. um, this is really good for enzymes. Mm -hmm. um, it alkalines the body. Sometimes we're too Hasidic. Mm -hmm. If we're having too many citrus fruits, mm -hmm. they actually linger in our digestive it system. Does, does. So this is really good because it cleans you out mm -hmm. and it, it gives you the good balance that okay. you need. I think with juicing too, it brings back the balance okay. and we all need balance. Okay. So parsley is really good for mm -hmm. cleansing. Mm -hmm. um, green 
lime. Yeah. Well, I was going to say green lemon, but mm -hmm. no, it's lime. Mm -hmm. It's really good as well. It's high for in alkalizing. Who, um, I know it in terms of alkalizing, but for persons who, who trouble from um, acid reflux, mm -hmm. how much would you recommend a certain level of um, lemon or lime, lime that they sh should use? Well, lime is high in alkaline, mm -hmm. so that would bring back the balance. Mm -hmm. I would stay away from lemon and mm -hmm. then use the lime. Okay. Um, apple cider vinegar is really good, mm -hmm. so I don't know if you want to incorporate Ooh. that into the juice I, too. You know, for me, I don't like. No. Vinegar, no. But okay. let's, let's, um, well, this is a good, this yeah, is a I'm good excited. basic one let's, too. Let's blend some of these and, and see how, okay. how it comes out. And then kale is just super green. Okay. Kale I use in everything and yeah. it's my meat substitute as okay. well, being a vegan. Mm -hmm. It's very high in protein, okay. um, vitamins and minerals. Okay. So, I mean, if you're on the go or let's say you're a mom, a dad, you mm -hmm. know, and you just want a juice that's going to take less than literally 10 minutes, mm -hmm. um, these are also mixed greens. Okay. I get my greens sometimes from the farmer's market. Mm -hmm. There's a really nice one in Fort Greene, okay. or you can go to Trader Joe's, Whole Foods. I do recommend organic, mm -hmm. um, but, you know, with your, if you're on the budget, you know, mm -hmm. there's certain things I like cucumbers to get organic because okay. of the skin. But mm -hmm. if you don't have organic, make sure you peel right. the skin off. Mm -hmm. And then I'm just going to squeeze this. Usually I cut the skin off, mm -hmm. but we can just squeeze it in. Okay. And I think, too, I get questions all the time regarding um, like a Nutribullet. Mm -hmm. And I think people tend to put too much. Mm -hmm. So we put mixed greens, which is arugula, spinach. Right. We have parsley. We have right. kale. We have cucumbers. We have lime. Mm -hmm. You can also put a green apple or pineapple. Okay. I don't use a lot of fruit, especially okay. with my green juices. Right. And then that's it. Because there are certain fruits that you're not supposed to mix with your vegetables. Correct. Yes. Yes. Like, this is the berry, mm -hmm. antioxidant berry juice. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't add a berry juice with citrus. Exactly. You know, it can mm -hmm. cause bloating. Right, it can actually right, right, not right. do damage, but it, it won't give you mm -hmm. the vitamins that you okay. need and the energy that you need. Okay. This is really good for energy. Yes, yes, I'm ready. Isn't yeah, the color I'm gorgeous? <laughs> I'm gonna be honest, very honest. Okay, but what but if I didn't want to use water though? Can I? Could I use you, you know coconut what? water? Yes, I oh, actually okay. use coconut okay. water because I like sugar. Yes, and yes. I mean this is this is a green juice, okay. so there's no fruit. So okay. hmm, interesting taste. Not bad, and the citrus <laughs> helps. Yes. Yeah. Well, the lime, but keep in mind, yeah. if you do like sugar, I would recommend pineapple high mm -hmm. in enzymes. It'll give you a great sweet flavor, not overpowering. Okay. And then it's a good balance to the okay. green juice. But this is an all green juice. Mm. I think you'll like the berries. So this I'm one. Not a, I'm not a greens person, but it's, it's, it's healthy. It's healthy. And I recommend that you do what's healthy. Yes. Yeah. Sometimes it's not always about taste. We mm -hmm. get a little... Um, we get a little confused because there's so many things that is on the market that is high in sugar, that has preservatives. No, this. Yes. This is really good. Yes. This. So this is wow. from my um, juice line. Mm -hmm. This is raspberry, blackberry, blueberries, uh, goya berries, mm -hmm. and sometimes I'll use cranberry as okay. well. This, so this is all berries? This is all berries, okay. yeah. And but the I, thing is with berries, it gives you that nice tangy taste mm -hmm. to it. It's just... And you still have the fiber, you have yeah. the berries, and, and it's also no important. there's no sugar. No. This is amazing, yeah. though. There's no sugar. And it's important to chew the seeds, too. Oh. So that's why I keep the seeds so in it. Now? Yeah. Okay. The seeds have high, they're very, very high in vitamins. I don't like that thing in it, but I'm enjoying it. Okay. Mm. Before uh, we go, in terms of berries, and, and is there a particular season for certain fruits or certain vegetables, or is just a generic? type of way to juice? I, that's a good question. For me, I think we have to eat based on our genetic makeup. Mm -hmm. There are some things that um, to be conscious, to be um, socially conscious and environmentally conscious, mm -hmm. it is important to buy things that are in season. 
um, because it has less travel, mm -hmm. uh, carbon print, and it's also nice to support local farmers markets because right. it keeps them in business. And we're such a small community. Right. Um, but yes, you know, I believe in having certain foods, you know, that also are based on your car, uh, genetic makeup. If right. you're from the islands, you know, your body can break them down okay. much easily. So if you want a pineapple, even though it's not in season, I think it's okay. Okay. Um, watermelon, I had a watermelon juice this morning. Mm -hmm. Watermelon's not in season. But, you know, there was things that I felt that I, I needed that right. uh, water-based fruit. Right. And for, in terms of your line, what's the best juice that you have customers ordering? Like, I need this the most, the berry. The berry, the green juice, actually. The green juice, I have a uh, pear in it, mm -hmm. so it's a nice, sweet taste. Okay. Um, and the citrus immune booster. Oh. And two of the juices are right now at Sacred Brooklyn okay. in Brooklyn. Mm -hmm. It's a yoga center, which okay. I'm excited about oh, that. Oh, yeah. And okay. a few other places. <laughs> That's awesome. My goal is to provide balance to mm -hmm. someone and not take something away right. where they feel, you know, overwhelmed mm -hmm. and uncomfortable. Mm -hmm. um, for me, you know, I, I like to eat raw foods, but I'm also very mindful of warm foods in the wintertime, right. lots of lentil soups, being Afro-Latina, you know, mm -hmm. also having rice and beans, mm -hmm. but make we sure I make... rice. Yes. <laughs> But I, I do my sprouted, mm -hmm. and I like quinoa, so okay. I'll replace it with okay. quinoa, brown right. rice. Mm -hmm. But I still love my beans, okay. my black beans. You know, my dad's Cuban, mom's right. Puerto Rican. Mm -hmm. So I grew up on that food, so right. it's very still important for me to have it, just right. in a healthier right. way. Wow, wow. And I'm sure you're, you're coming out with a book, likewise, um, juice book. Yes, we're just giving an int. You're coming out <laughs> with a book. Health. Just tell us in terms of where persons can, if they need more information right now, where um, can they um, contact you? Awesome. And yes, I'm excited yeah. about the book yeah. of Rose Health. <laughs> um, but yes, I'm on Instagram. Mm -hmm. um, website is under construction. Mm -hmm. You can also email me at mayagoddessjuices.com. Okay. And that's it. That's it? Yeah. Wow. It was awesome having you on the show. Yes. It was Fabulous. You always make me drink green juice. I, I love it. <laughs> so, and, and the berry is, trust me, the berry is yeah, good. Yeah, that's the, the berry best. The berry is really, really, really good. Thank you so much, Maya, for being on the show. On Thank the you. other side of this break, after this break, we're going to share with you. We have um, Patrick Dells, and we showed you um, his, um, his episode earlier, but by popular demand, you want it so a little bit more. So we're going to share with you just um, the second half of his discussion of different illnesses and how you can naturally cure illnesses. Stay with us. Hello, I'm Alfonso Severos from Second Saturday. Right now you are watching Health and Wellness with Rose and Green. Thank you so much for staying with us on Health and Wellness. This is our last segment and our last um, part in the series with um, our master herbalist, Patrick Dells. And right now we're going to talk about in terms of diabetes. Yeah. That's a master killer, killer. for people. Killing the carbon. That's, that's, that's a master <clears throat> killer. All it, we eat, sometimes persons say, oh, you inherit it from your mother, you inherit it from your, from your dad. Yeah. But we're not taught in terms of what we eat is yeah. who we are. So well, talk to us a little bit about Well, you know, um, in the Caribbean, it's full of diabetes. Mm -hmm. Indian have it a lot too. Indian people have a lot of diabetes okay. too. And it's, it's a, it is a preventable disease. Right. But Especially it's, type 2 diabetes. Yeah, but yeah. It's, it is a complex disease. Mm. So you have to know what it is. You have right. to know you, either you have insulin resistance, mm -hmm. insulin sensitivity. Okay. Because there are two of them, a few of them will. So if you're insulin sens sensitivity, you could eat two slices of bread. I eat one slice of bread, your sugar stays normal, my sugar goes up. Wow. That's insulin sensitivity. Right, right. If it's insulin resistance now, if you're overweight, mm -hmm. you get... Insulin, sens uh, insulin resistance, right. whereby you're, you're producing insulin from the endocrine part of the pancreas now, but the receptors which receive the messages of the hormone called insulin right. is clogged up. Wow. So the insulin can go in like a key, open the door for mm -hmm. the sugar to go in, you get mm -hmm. diabetes from that. Right. If you lose the weight, you fix it. Right. That's the cause of it now. Right. See what I'm saying? Wow. Another, another cause of diabetes, a lot of people, uh, they eat a lot of acid foods together. Mm -hmm. So they change the, 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 the pH of the pancreatic secretion from 8.0 to 5.0. Your pancreas is going to function there mm -hmm. in terms of the exocrine part of the pancreas because right. the exocrine part of the pancreas produces enzymes. Right. See? If the pH changes and it gets into an acid terrain because your pancreas produces acid alkaline enzymes now, mm -hmm. then what happens to the pancreas, the exocrine part of it, you burn it up because mm -hmm. it works in an acid system, but it works slower. Right. So it burns up 
the pancreas. So mm -hmm. long term of you keeping that pH in that secretion of the pancreas right. at 5.0, your pancreas has to produce enzyme like crazy, too much oh, of it, wow. and it burns it up. Right. When you reach 30 years of age now, diabetes steps in. Wow. So you have to look at, at all these conditions mm -hmm. that create a havoc of uh, giving you diabetes long term. Right. So we look at feeding the pancreas enzyme because once we pass the age of 50, we don't produce 60% of the enzymes right. in our right. body. Right. So we need to eat foods that have it. Right. Um, lots of greens, uh, there's, a, there's a product called GTF chromium that I give my patients, wonderful, they come up with medication like that. Then I feed them enzymes. Wow. Then I feed them Gymnia sylvestra. Mm -hmm. And I feed them gentian. And I feed them all the herbs, cinnamon, right. that help the beta cells to utilize insulin properly. Right. And then we said to them, no sugars in the morning because your pancreas do not function in the morning. Mm. Only between the hours of 11 and 5. And then they start to go to sleep what to regenerate. See what I'm saying? Because your liver regenerates between 1 and 3, your, 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 your kidneys between 3 and 4.30, and your pancreas between 1 and 3. So in the morning when you eat a lot of sugars now, mm -hmm. you're killing your pancreas wow. because it's just rising. Right. See? At 11 o'clock, it's at peak. It's at the work. Right. So you can't use sugars in the morning. That's why I said to my people in the Caribbean, do not use sugars in the morning. Right. Don't use fruits in the morning. Use fruits and fats and carbohydrates between the hours of 12, 11 and 5 in the evening when the temperature is hot so you can burn it up because sugar goes up and out. Right. Salt goes down and in. Right. And in that way, you follow that principle mm -hmm. and come off the starches, mm -hmm. the, the refined carbohydrates now. Right. Not the complex one, the refined one, mm -hmm. you will see the sugar start to go and you fix diabetes. I want to use the word repair diabetes. Right, repair. Fix. Because a lot of persons say yeah. repair diabetes, but you touch on a, a very um, interesting um, issue in terms of getting up in the morning and then not having sugar. Because a lot of persons, when they get up, they're like, okay, I want to have just a little bit of tea and yeah. put sugar in it. Right. You're saying probably have a glass of water. Yeah. Or, or just With a lime in there. Okay. Squeeze the lime in the water. Okay. And a pinch of cayenne pepper. Okay and a pinch of bentonite clay mm -hmm. with a piece of ginger mm -hmm. and a piece of cinnamon, you can never get diabetes. Wow. Because what it does, it increases circulation mm -hmm. and it moves all the debris from the night before that is settled in your stomach. Right. It moves it out right. and prepares the stomach for food. Mm -hmm. wow. And in that way, your pancreas will function better there because cinnamon is there to help the beta cells to utilize your insulin right. properly. Wow. So That's simple, man. We, we, we must give the most high the glory, yeah? Always, <laughs> always, always. Yeah. And it's very interesting. And with like our viewers, they enjoy both episodes with you because you gave us so many information that we can go out and live a better life. Buy the truth and sell it now. Yes, yes. <laughs> and live healthier. So <laughs> yeah, thank yeah, you yeah. so much for You're being welcome. with us. Thank you thank so you for much for sharing me. so Blessed many love. different information yeah. that can help our yeah. people. Thank you so much for joining us on the program. Thank you to Maya um, for being on the show. And also, thank you our viewers for always sticking and staying with us. I hope you learned something today. Stay well. <laughs>